Welcome back, everyone. Now let's continue with uh, our module on uh, building the product. Now that you have uh, your product idea, you have done your market research, you need to build your product now. What is involved in building the product? So by the end of uh, this module, uh, participants should be able to understand the concept of the minimal viable product. They should be also be able to understand uh, the importance of um, getting customer feedback on working on the product. Now, the minimal viable product concept. Uh, the minimal viable product concept is uh, commonly called the MVP. So the MVP is a product with enough features to attract early adopters or customers who can help you validate a product or an idea in the uh, or during the early product development cycle. So we are saying, you know, product development is not fixed you, you should not say once you develop your product i end here remember the moment you put the product on the market you have people who want to try it out our early adopters when they use the product you need to be able to get in touch with them they will give you feedback and they will tell you what you may possibly improve on this is very important and uh that's why we need to say, let's put our MVP on the market. That way we can improve on that product. And, you know, so that when it gets into the market and everyone is using it, it is much more improved. So what are the purposes of the MVPs? First of all, the MVP will help the product team or the product development team to receive user feed feedback as quickly as possible so that they can iterate and improve on the product. Secondly, they collect or the MPV help at the product development team to collect the maximum amount of validated learning uh, experiences from the customers. The MVP will also help the product development team to release a product to the market as quickly as possible. It also helps the team or the product development team to test an idea with the real users before committing large bu uh, budgets and also producing large quantities of the product. It also allows uh, the team to learn on what resonates with the company's target market and what does not. So the MVP is important for actually uh, the product development team to get a valuable feedback from their target market segment and the customers. So how do you define a minimal valuable uh, viable product or the MVP. It is important to make sure that your MVP aligns with your business objectives. You also need to start identifying specific problems that you want to solve or the improvements that uh, you want to make. You can base this decision on several factors, and these include user research, a competitive analysis, and also the relative cost to implement uh, various uh, user stories and epics. You also need to translate your MVP function functionality into a plan of development action. So here we are saying, you know, improve on your MVP. It should be part of the development action to improve on the MVP 
based on the feedback that you receive. Product feedback. Remember when you release your MVP, you are going to get feedback. Do not expect positive feedback only. Some of it may be negative, some of it may be positive. But you should accept all the feedback that you get as they help you improve and develop on your products. However, it is important to take note that customer satisfaction is the most important asset that you have. However, gathering the feedback from customers on a regular basis is not an easy job. So how do you get this feedback? How do you keep your customers happy? Remember, we talk about surveys. We talk about, you know, web pages. Uh, you know, you need to come up with those strategies uh, that we discussed earlier on that you can use to get information uh, from early adopters or customers. You, one thing that you should always put in, on your mind, uh, one question that you always should ask yourself is that, are my customers happy? Are your customers happy? How can you improve on your customer satisfaction? So to do this, like we said earlier on, you can have customer satisfaction survey. You can have um, online surveys. If you know your customers, maybe you have their emails. Send out some customer survey. They will tell you what they like about the product, what they don't like, and what they think you should improve on. And once you get this feedback, what you, once you get that information, do not sit on it. You need to act on the feedback as soon as possible. Act on the feedback and improve on the uh, improve the product according to the requirements of the customers. That way, you are going to keep your customers happy. So our next. Uh, module is uh, we are going to be looking on a uh, product release. You have uh, had your MVP, you have had your customer feedback, you have improved or you have uh, addressed uh, your uh, or improved your product according to suggestion uh, or suggestions made uh, by customers. Now you are releasing your product. What should you do? So by the end of this uh, module, our participants should be able to understand the level of market interest and also understand the types of buyers or users signing up for the products or for the new products that we are releasing on the market. Market interest. Here the question is, what derives market interest. What should you do to improve market interest of your new products that you have just re released? You know, we can use a combination of top-down and bottom-up research to derive market interest. We need to build more focused and uh, defensible to, uh, total market opportunity estimates. We also need to use a combination of aggregating comp competitor data, uh, sales data, and industrial focus, you know, so that we come up with the market segment that we are going to capture and that we are targeting as our customer base for our product or service. We also need uh, to shift the focus from targeting everyone and concentrate on what we can uh, call an addressable market. Remember, you cannot save everyone in the market you know, the moment you're just releasing a product. We need to be realistic. Think about 
what is the total available market? And of that total available market, what is the addressable market? Who are the people that I'm going to, to sell? And you focus on those unique uh, market share that you are targeting. So the total available market is a segment or a class of prospective buyers that you have chosen to, to pursue first because of some unique or positive characteristic shared by those members. You also need to regularly refine your available market estimate into total serviceable market. And also you need to also focus on the actual financial impact. The total market segment presents an opportunity of what your company can realistically expect to achieve in the target market. Remember again, you cannot save everyone, but you need to be able to save your target market. So as you release your product, you need to concentrate on this target market. You also need to do a customer analysis. Customer analysis is part of a business plan to examine the customers, more, the customers who are most likely to purchase your product or to, uh, to get your service in depth. So your first step need should, uh, should be to identify who your current customers are. So what is involved in customer analysis? Customer analysis should you know, involve identifying the needs of the different customers. You need to work out what bridges this, what bridges you are filling up and also you need to identify uh, what their needs are. So let's look at segments of these groups. During customer analysis, you need to collect measurable information. For example, identify the size of the market segment. You need to be able to distinguish your customers. Here, what we are saying is, how is that group of your customer different from the other group? You also need to be able to look at the financial background or the finances or the financials. What are the additional costs which are associated with marketing? What are the costs which are associated with, you know, uh, addressing the needs of separate groups? Are, are, this going, are these costs going to increase the cost, you know, of the product or not? All those things should be considered. Then you also need to look at the accessibility of your customers. Are your customers getting your messages, your marketing messages? Are they accessible? Is your target market segment accessible? Because what you need to know is that different target groups will respond differently, you know, to mark a different marketing approaches. For example, if you are targeting the youth, you can decide to use maybe messaging services, marketing, online marketing platforms. However, if you are targeting the elderly population, most of them don't have time to be on those platforms. You may need to come up with brochures so that they can take uh, time when they are sitting down and relaxing they can read. So you need to look at these uh, approaches. You need also to look at uh, you know, which market 
segment um, is a substantial share. How do you, you know what market needs are large enough to justify segmenting? Is it worthwhile to focus on that market segment? So all these things are part of market or customer analysis. All these things are part of customer analysis and you need to take your time to do them. So in summary, we are saying you need to understand the needs of your customers and you need to understand uh, and you need to understand how your brand will meet the needs of these customers. With this, we have come to the end of our module. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention. And lastly, I just want to remind you that uh, this module will involve a final examination as, the, uh, as part of the assessment process. During the examination, we expect all of you to go to a place where there is good connectivity. We, we also uh, ask you to prepare for the examination on time. During the examination process, please manage your time effectively. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. I wish you the best in your exam. Good luck to all of you. Thank you.